Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is double clad fiber. So let's get started. Here is a comparison between regular optical fiber and a double clad fiber. Regular fibers have a core at the center and a cladding layer on the outside. The light signal is confined and only travels inside of the core. On the other hand, double clad fibers also have a core at the center, but they have two layers of cladding an inner cladding and an outer cladding. So why is that? What are the two cladding layers for? Double clad fibers are usually designed for fiber lasers and fiber amplifiers. Here is how it works. The right side picture shows the refractive indices of the three layers. The core has the highest refract index. The inner cladding has a slightly lower refractive index, and the outer cladding has the lowest refract index. As shown in the left side picture, the signal light is confined inside of the core by the core and inner cladding, just as regular fibers. While the pump light is coupled into and confined within the inner cladding by the inner cladding and outer cladding. In the same total internal reflection principle, just as the signal light is confined within the core. The core is doped with laser active rare earth ions, such as erbium, ytterbium, etc. So the pump light zigzags inside the inner cladding and interact with the erbium or ytterbium ions and the signal light in the core. The doped core gradually absorbs the pump light as it propagates in the inner cladding. This is done by the process of a stimulated emission so that the pump light energy is transferred into signal light energy and thus the signal light is amplified. This pumping method is called cladding pumping, as opposed to the conventional core pumping, in which the pump light is coupled into the small core. Conventional core pumping usually works fine for low power situations, but the cladding pumping can produce continuous power up to several kilowatts, while the signal light in the core still maintains very high beam quality. The shape of the cladding is very important, especially when the core diameter is small compared to the size of the inner cladding. There are a variety of different designs of double clad fibers. This picture shows the fiber cross sections for the most important designs. The simplest kind of design has a circular pump cladding and a centered core. This is relatively easy to make and use, but this is the worst design for a fiber laser. In this case, many modes of the pump light in the inner cladding miss the core and hence cannot be used to pump it. This means most of the rays of the pump light do not pass through the core, and hence cannot pump it. As a result, the gain and the power efficiency are compromised. This problem can be avoided by using a modified design with a lower symmetry. Examples are designs with an off-centered core or a non-circular inner cladding, such as D-shaped, elliptical, or rectangular inner cladding. Double clad fibers have found extensive applications in high-power fiber lasers and fiber amplifiers. Some dispersion compensating fibers also use double clad design. So there you have it. Please leave your comment below if you'd like to see other topics. Don't forget to visit fo4forsale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.